Well, hi everyone. It's Kristen here from the Dally Society. As promised, I have a summer woven and a couple of knit tops to inspire you. Everything that I made last summer. I know how much you guys loved my summer dress episode. I have to do a bit of modeling. You like to see things on the body, not just pictures. So I am gonna brave the cold here in the middle of winter here in Melbourne to show you the ones that I have loved from last summer. So come with me. The first one I wanna show you is a very favorite top of mine. Now, all of these I have worn. I have worn them lots, not just once, not just twice, but I love them so much that I've worn them heaps throughout summer. And there's nothing nicer and cooler than a woven summer top. That crisp cotton against the body, it breathes nicely, it feels lovely. So what better pattern to use than this so to grow Sydney shirt? Now. This is actually a dress as well. If you guys know much about the So To Grow company, Lindsay Ray, who runs So To Grow, is a, a from Texas. She lives here in Australia. She's up in Queensland and she runs a great little pattern shop there. So head on over to her website to have a look what she's got to offer you. This, I have loved wearing this shirt. It's from beautiful Lady McElroy uh, Lawn and it was from my design from memory. It's a really unique vintage inspired print. I think with the kind of brown and cream tones, it really gives me those retro vibes. So what I love best about this top is that it doesn't have buttons but it gives you that shirt kind of feel as well so let me show you it's got beautiful little mitered corners on the side splits which that's one of my favorite things to wear I just think it gives a beautiful detail to the top the lovely flat camp collar it's a really lovely shape on it's really easy to sew the dress has got the seam down the front the pattern does call for that cut down the front but I decided to make it with the fold and omit that seam altogether and it's really worked quite well. I love the little cuff detail as well on there. Just gives it that little bit of unique design, but it's a perfect length for wearing over like a pleated pant or a skirt. It's not too long, it's not too short, not too cropped. It's just perfect. So from memory, I made a size 14, yeah, 14 in this and it's great. It's a great little top and a beautiful dress as well. You may remember in my dress episode that pale pink print dress. This was the same style pattern so if you get this pattern you'll be able to make the dress as well so let me do a twirl for you. One of my favorites from last summer. This is another favourite top of mine. This is actually a knit top. It's a t-shirt style from Pat Emporium and it's called the Star Struck Tee. Now you do get lots of different variations in this pattern. You can use lots of different sleeve lengths. There's bishop sleeves as well, beautiful bishop sleeves, a flutter sleeve. And as everyone knows of Pat Emporium patterns, you can mash back with a lot of their other patterns. But I love this. It's in a Liberty jersey, really lovely soft drapey uh, jersey. So let me show you the detail in this one. It's got a gorgeous tie front. It's just a stunning top. It's really simple and so easy to make. Now the beauty of this top is that it's made in one piece. So the pattern piece is just one whole piece. You will get the ties included in that. So you can see the shape of that. When you cut it out, you'll get those ties included. The seam just goes off the back. So it's such an easy pattern, but boy, does it give a beautiful shape. So I have worn that lots this summer with some denim cut off jeans, like some three quarter jeans, worn it with them skirts. It's just a practical little top, but it's got a bit of unique styling to it as well. And I'll have more of these planned for next summer, I bet. Another beautiful summery top this can also be made in a dress, which I have done as well. I'll insert a pic here so you can see. It's the Forget Me Not Lola top. Now the Lola top or dress can be done with an add-on sleeve hack, the ruffle sleeve hack, or just a normal cap sleeve. The beautiful detail about the Lola is the frill across the back, which you can either do with a lace yourself or just the actual fabric um, gathered up to make a frill. It's a really pretty top. I've made it in just a crepe from Spotlight and I think it's just a lovely floaty style that you could really um, tease up with some beautiful fabric or as I say that little frill detail on the back. 
and that beautiful pleat detail as well that gives that ease throughout the top. How pretty is this smock? Now this was actually made at the start of autumn, so I mustn't tell you any fibs. It wasn't made for summer, but I had to show you how beautiful it turned out because if you watch my So April Blouse episodes, you would have seen it in there. Uh, I must tell you all too, I have got a summer top episode from last year. I'll link that as well. So you can see all the ones I made from the previous summer too, which I still wear on rotation, but these new makes, I just love all of these tops. It's McCall's pattern from memory. Uh, it's a beautiful floaty smock style with, it feels like you feel like a bird, you feel like you've got wings like a butterfly or something, but it's just so dreamy. It's got that boho feel, really kind of 70s inspired. Uh, I love the big, billowy sleeve you can make in this as well but for summer it's so cool and drapey and perfect in this crepe fabric from Spotlight. It does run rather large in sizing. I think I made a 16 and I had to take off quite a bit in the underarm. As you can see you've got so much easy in this you can easily size down a size at least you just need to watch out for your bust because that fitted part is around the bust so watch that if you're going to size down make sure the finished garment measurements are going to fit you around the bust but the waist and the arms as you can see so much easier it's one of those styles that's quite forgiving as far as having lots of room to move but so cool and dreamy and look it'll be beautiful in chiffons and crepes and silks i think anything floaty with movement's lovely but also think about making it maybe in a cotton lawn that beautiful breathability for summer When I saw this fabric, another Lady McElroy fabric from my design, the beautiful bugs, that vintage detail, I just knew it had to be a little kind of statementy crop top to wear that could just like let the pattern speak for itself, let the fabric speak for itself. So I think this Friday Pattern Company square neck top just ticks all the boxes. Now, as everyone knows, Friday Pattern Company, great pattern company, got lovely designs there. It's a simple little boxy style top. It's not a huge amount of ease. It's a very uh, neat kind of fitting top, but the square neckline I just think is stunning and really simple and something that would be beautiful with maybe a longer skirt or even a pair of jeans like this. So let me show you. You do get the knit and the woven pattern, they are two separate patterns because you're allowing for a bit more ease with the woven. Um, so definitely think about looking at Friday Pattern Company for some great little top patterns. And while we're talking about Friday Pattern Company, don't forget they are extra small to 7XL now, which is fantastic. They've extended that size range right throughout. This is the Sage Brush Blouse. Now I fell in love with this. I saw this, uh, I think on the Baker That Sews, Liz, if you haven't followed her, go and check her out. She's made so many of these and loves this pattern. I absolutely love it. I love it in a more drapey fabric and this beautiful, um, I think it's a viscose lawn, uh, a Lady McElroy again, and it's a beautiful Arctic wolf print from my design. I think I purchased this. It's a bit more drapey than their normal lawns, so that viscose, it's just gives it that softness. But I love it in a bit more drapier fabric rather than a stiff kind of cotton. I feel a bit, maybe a bit overstated. Sometimes the sleeves, they'll pop right out. Uh, I just prefer it drapey, soft, more romantic feel to this top, but I absolutely love this. I think a double gauze in this would be beautiful and cool for summer. It would really lend itself nicely to the pattern. The beautiful little frill across the front, but what stands out for me is this gorgeous back tie. But the sleeves are perfect, elasticated sleeves. You could easily lengthen the sleeve in this, I think, too, for winter. But really pretty little top worn this one heaps throughout summer as well
when I want a statement style t-shirt, this is a knit fabric, I always look at Pattern Emporium because I get that choice with sleeves and not only sleeves, but look at this gorgeous neckline. A squared kind of rounded edge neckline is just so flattering and such a beautiful shape. But with this dramatic puff sleeve, I just love this top. This is a Hello Gorgeous top. So Pattern Emporium, of course, I've showed you the star struck tee with a tie. This is another one of their beauties that I made from summer. And I made this in velvet, in a like a teal color velvet for Christmas, and also a black velvet with a lace sleeve. There's so much you can do with this. You could make the whole thing out of lace if you wanted to do that with a little camisole underneath. That would be a beautiful little top. But I've just used a cotton jersey from Spotlight, this really fun leopardy print. So let me show you the style. It's really easy to make. Kate gives great instructions on how to do that beautiful, perfect gathered puff sleeve as well. So one that you're gonna to wanna to have in your wardrobe. It's a staple of mine uh, for winter and for summer, but I love the different variations. You can make this in a rounded neck or a crew neck as well as this beautiful squared neckline. I do have links for this below. All these patterns will be linked in my description box as well if you're wanting to go and have a look. Remember the Ashton top I made a couple of weeks ago in a gorgeous fabric with the long sleeve? Well, this is the short sleeve version. An Ashton top is what I've made for last year. I made two or three of these in the sleeveless basic style. You can do two different lengths of the crop. I've gone just for the longer length. Now this is the add-on sleeve expansion. So you can see this beautiful tulip style sleeve. It's just a stunning little feature there. You can just do it in a normal cuff sleeve or a long sleeve as well. But I love this tulip sleeve. It's really, really pretty. The fabric is from uh, my design, I think again. It is a Cobra Corsage. It's a Lady McElroy print, which is just absolutely stunning. And of course, worn this one lots. It's a beautiful, uh, crisp cotton lawn, but light enough and soft enough to wear right through summer. I love the fact that you can do a facing on this top if you prefer or a bias bound neckline and that beautiful faced hem just makes it have that bit of structure and sits just perfectly for that kind of cropped style but really pretty top with a bit of shaping there and Helen's closet are very size inclusive as well I think they got to a size 30 so fantastic little top. This is the I Am Jane top from I Am Patterns. Now, I Am Patterns are fantastic uh, blending from France. It has got a great little website. They're full of unique patterns. She does have all her patterns in little stories. This uh, came in a bundle for, I think it's I Am Joy and I Am Jane together, which I've made both of those. They're great little patterns. This has got a lovely kind of a V with a little squared edge. Uh, it's quite low, so you may want to have a look at that, but um, you can, it's quite easy, easy to adjust that as well as having that kind of grown on sleeve, raglan style sleeve. It's a really just a great little simple top and I've used a lovely print, uh, fun vibrant print cotton linen from Spotlight from last season as well. I'm just such a sucker for this color at the moment. It is so in fashion, it's beautiful. I don't know why we haven't worn it more, but I love it with this teal color. It's really nice and beautiful, crisp for summer as well. So that's the I Am Jane. You can also make it with the long sleeve as well. Who doesn't need a sewing bestie? Well, talking about besties, this is Pattern Emporium's besties tea pattern. I made three of these when they first came out. I made the boat neck tea in a normal cotton organic jersey. I made a square neck in a pink, another square neck in a green, like a cropped version. But this one I used this gorgeous flutter sleeve and made it in a gorgeous Lady McElroy crepe fabric. Now this is a knit fabric pattern. So this is actually a stretch crepe knit fabric. So Lady McElroy crepe knits are absolutely beautiful quality. I've worn this lots for summer. I extended the length and made it more of a tunic kind of style. 
but I just think you could quite easily make it any length you like. It's just kind of a flared t-shirt, really simple pattern for Pattern Emporium with lots of different variations. So if you're looking for a flared t-shirt for summer, this will be the one that you will want because of all those variations on it. I've just done a normal kind of rounded neck, but you can change the necklines and the sleeves quite easily. Lovely and light and cool for summer. This is the Pattern Fantastic Varley blouse. Now, if you like the look of that McCall's blouse, I think it's 7396, but you prefer an indie pattern, which I always prefer indie myself as far as fit goes, I made this with no alterations at all. It just fitted me perfectly. Whereas the McCall's, I had to do quite a bit of running on the sides, taking the sleeves and, and altering, which, which is why I tend to sew more indie patterns than Big Four. It's not to say I don't enjoy Big Four patterns, I do. I just find I have less alterations to make when I choose an indie pattern. So fantastic, uh, pattern fantastic. Vali blouse can be made in a dress as well. It's got that gorgeous vintage look boho feel. It's got the elastic, really beautiful glowy sleeve. Quite a challenging make, I won't lie. It does have a little bit of detail there. Maybe some techniques that you haven't used before. But in saying that, I will definitely make another one of these and I really wanna make a dress in this for our upcoming summer as well. So this was a beautiful rayon print. You can make it in things like cottons, linens, but remember the more drape and fluidity in the fabric, the more kind of soft uh, romantic feel it will have. So I usually wear it undone. Um, it does look gorgeous tied up as well, but it really just depends on what you prefer. I prefer things just a bit softer around the neckline, but really pretty curved hem, side splits there as well but the, the dress is absolutely stunning. I really want to make one of those. I made a size 14 in this as well. She has got some fantastic patterns on her website. Very modern, very unique, lots of structure, lots of different statement sleeves. So go and head over to Pattern Fantastic to see exactly what's on show there. How pretty is this? This is a Tazuti Ray Top. Now the Ray Top can also be purchased in a dress pattern as well, but the Ray Top is very, very simple because you've got that elasticated neckline, just all gathers up beautifully. We've got that lovely kind of elbow length elasticated sleeve. I made this in a beautiful viscose Dobby print. I'll show you up close. It's from uh, Seamstress Fabrics. And this is a uh, Italia Brunette fabric, which I love wearing. It's lovely and cool and drapey as well. This is a gorgeous chalk and notch new release pattern called the Wren blouse. It does come in a dress as well. It comes in a longer sleeve version. This is a short, puffier sleeve version in a beautiful Japanese cotton from Cloth Edit. It's just got a lovely little button front. I use some little crystal um, clear buttons there, or flower buttons. But it's just a really kind of, it's a classic style little blouse, I would say. It has got a little bit of a 80s vibe to it, I think, that's just the, the fit of it. I've used the boxy style pattern, but if you want to make it more shaped, you can add in the darts. They have got that option to do the shaping on the back. I think next time, I would add that bit of dart shaping there because it just takes away from that boxy feel, especially when you're using a cotton. If you, I had made this in a, maybe a rayon or a viscose, it wouldn't have that kind of boxiness to it, but it is beautiful to wear. It's very breathable and soft. So this is the Ren blouse. Not technically a top, but I, I class this as a kind of throwover top. It's a songbird duster from Pattern Emporium. I've made it in a gorgeous uh, kind of vintage inspired viscose from Spotlight. And I love wearing this over a tank or maybe a little spaghetti strap dress when it's a bit chillier towards the evening. It's light and floaty. I've made this in a shorter kind of mid length. You can make it in a crop length in a long uh, knee length or maxi length as well. So. I just think a duster jacket is one of the most versatile things you can have in your wardrobe for layering.
and even think about maybe making some cotton or linen uh, in some plain basic colours would be a great alternative to wearing things like cardigans for the warmer days. If you're wanting a little basic throw on top in a knit fabric, this is the flounce, yours truly flounce top from Patton Emporium. It's great in basic little uh, plain colored knit fabrics. This is a knit crepe fabric, stretch knit crepe, or you can make it in something like a more of a vibrant print as well. It's a great little cropped top to wear over maybe a pair of palazzo pants. If you have any of those, a wide leg pant or even a pleated pair of pants, it's that perfect perfect length for that flounce. It just sits lovely and drapes around the bottom. And before I go, I want to show you some great basic little tanks. The Time Out Tank from Patton Emporium is a beautiful cutaway style tank. I've made it in stretch scuba crepe. I've made it in a cotton jersey. I've made it in a crepe knit fabric as well. The lovely facing around the neckline and sleeves done in a really unique way. Kate will show you all that on the Patton Emporium instructions. It just gives that lovely thick binding and it's a great little top to wear for active wear or for layering underneath different garments as well for summer. And loved wearing that one too. So I hope you enjoyed my run through of my summer tops. They are just a great little patterns really simple. Now a lot of those will only need about 1.5 to 2 meters of fabric so a great way to use up things that may be sitting in your stash and I think it's just lovely if you don't have the energy or you're not feeling your sojo is happening and you're not wanting to go and make a dress a top is a fantastic little kind of icebreaker to get you back into your sewing uh, your sojo happening and maybe you know a lot of these can be worn all year round as well with layering with cardies and jackets too so i hope you've enjoyed that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate that because that way you can hit that notification bell and never miss out on any episodes i have coming out so thanks for watching stay safe and keep sewing bye for now <laughs>